My name is Dr. Patrick St. Pierre. I'm the Director of Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Research at Des Orthopedic Center, and currently I'm also the Chief of Orthopedics at Eisenhower Medical Center. So today we're going to talk about shoulder replacements, and uh, I have the opportunity to do a lot of shoulder and elbow uh, treatment for patients in the Coachella Valley, and one of the common things that we take care of is osteoarthritis of the shoulder. And when people develop arthritis, they lose cartilage inside their joint. So inside the, the ball and socket joint of the shoulder, they, they will lose the cartilage that buffers that joint and protects them from pain. So patients with shoulder arthritis, we cut off the head that's arthritic, and then we'll take a stem and place that down into the canal, and then place a metal ball and socket that goes on the tops. On the other side, we'll shave away the arthritic bone of what's called the glenoid on the shoulder blade. And then when we replace that, we use a plastic cup, which is very similar to what's used in total knees and total hips, and place that onto the glenoid. So now there's a plastic surface that's pain-free. However, for this to function well, it has to have an intact rotator cuff. And for patients that are generally under 70, 75 years old, we can do what's called an anatomic shoulder replacement that replaces the ball and socket just like God made it in the first place. However, in the last 10 years, we've had an advantage of having what's called a reverse shoulder. And what this does is for patients who don't have an intact rotator cuff, and even if they have arthritis or they don't have arthritis, this can be a very functional shoulder even without having a rotator cuff that will keep the ball in the socket centered. Frequently, people want to know what they have to go through when they get a shoulder replacement. And it's typically a one night stay in the hospital. Uh, we keep patients overnight just to give them antibiotics. But again, because you don't have to walk on your shoulder, you can go home the next day. The first month after the surgery, patients will stay in a sling and they'll come out of their sling several times during the day to do some home exercises. We generally don't send patients to physical therapy for the first month because we're really relying on the body to heal itself and allow these rotator cuff tendons to heal. Once we've gotten through the first month, we take the sling off. Patients are allowed to do normal activities at waist level. And then we start more aggressive exercises using uh, TheraBand to start strengthening the muscles. And also we have them uh, do certain activities. And we go through a whole plan of therapy that they'll be able to follow along. The really enjoyable part of doing these surgeries for me is what I get to see three and six months down the road after their surgery. Patients come in and their pain is completely gone. Their function is markedly improved. Many of them can achieve almost full range of motion, if not full range of motion. And they can get back to the activities that they desired. I have patients in this valley who have two shoulder replacements that golf three to four times a week, and that's a very important part of the valley lifestyle.